One question I get asked often is what to do when the opposing doubles team loves to lob. Listen into this conversation I recently had with a 3.5 ladies team. Having two people up at the net is by far the strongest way to play doubles. And yeah, you're going to lose some points, but if you win two out of three, you're winning 0-0. Oh oh. If they start, if you do play that way, and they start really lobbing, should you change up your strategy and one move back? It's a good question. I mean, and again, I, I charted some unforced errors over there, and I made sure to annotate when it was a lob unforced error. So I'll, I'll always say, and I, and I get this a lot, people come and they say, well, this, this team, they just had the best of lobs. They just lobbed so good. And, and then I, but when I go watch, what I find is either their approach shot was a dink, you know, and they kind of, they, they approached really soft and they ran up to here and then they got lobbed and they're like, see, <laughs> you know? So some questions to ask yourself are, do you have the fundamentals necessary and did you generate enough pace on your approach shot or previous setup ball to make the lob a low percentage shot? Or maybe you're getting too close to the net after the approach. Are you practicing recovering for lobs and hitting overheads? Watch this weak short approach shot that sets up a successful lob for the opponent. Now watch this strong deep approach shot that creates errors out of your opponent. Regardless, don't let being successfully lobbed one time stop you from being aggressive. I hope this answers some of the questions you have regarding lobbing. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, and share.